What's up guys, welcome back once again to the reviews. Now you may have seen the Corsair Light Tower that also doubles as a headphone stand and I thought why not see if I can make one myself as I've just got a 3D printer a few months ago. Um, so I'm going to take you guys along for the ride on how I designed it and I'll show you the finished product at the end and see what you think. Uh, and I'll be asking at the end uh, if anyone can provide any other sort of products I could make uh, with incorporating RGB. So hope you enjoy it guys and let's get into it. All right, so this was my first design. Uh, as you can see, I did a base for it, and then we did this bit here, which is the actual tower itself, uh, a top cap for it, and then this will be the light diffuser here. Uh, now, the first idea mainly changed on the um, on the tower itself. As you can see on this one here, I've got like a lip here, which would basically go into the into the bed here of the of the uh, base. Uh, the base obviously bottom goes on top once you put all the electrics inside of it. You run the run the LED strip up here and back down here um, and it's just a one sided with the light diffuser here and the top cap to close it off at the top. Now this was designed um, so that I could stack these on top of each other and make them the same height as the Corsair one. Um, however with this with stacking it would have had to been at least three on top of each other these would have become really weak points and I didn't really want to do that and make it so easily to be snapped. Obviously I'd glue it but I think it'd still be quite easy to snap where unless I made really, really long inserts here to go inside, um, which would just take a lot, lot longer to print and probably not be as good or as stable. Um, so then I went on to a different design, and this was the design I came up with in the end. Um, so again, we've got two light diffusers here. As you can see, this one is a double-sided, so because I've got a 50 centimeter uh, RGB strip, I can run it up one side and back down the other, so you've got illumination around the whole thing, obviously other than the base, um, and this basically has this little channel for the light, the LED strip to sit to, uh, stick onto there, and then it comes out the bottom here and goes into the base, and this has a little ledge for this to be glued onto to keep it steady. Um, I went for a few iterations of this and I finally settled on this one and obviously changed the depth and things like that um, to allow for the electrics to fit in properly. And then the light diffuser, I've done two versions here. One was a hollow version to try and speed up the printing process, but actually it didn't actually do much. So this is the normal version. And I just print it in VARS mode or VASE mode, however you want to say it, um, so that it speeded it up. And that basically provides enough thickness. And this is, I calculated this to be far enough away from the edge so you wouldn't see the LEDs. So anyway, let's get back up top and I'll show you the first prototype and I'll show you the finished product after that. Right, so that was the design phase. Now I'm just going to show you the uh, prototype that I did first. So I used some green PLA um, just to give it a test and see if it worked in principle. Um, I had changed it since that in terms of the final product um, because things like the walls here are way, way too thick, don't need to be that thick and it's just a waste really. Um, and I needed to change the depth because the electronics didn't fit in very well. But as you can see, this is the top of the base, a little ledge there for the... Um, for the tower to sit in and to be glued to and then this slots in here and you can see the two holes that line up and match together uh, are where your electronics will come out of for your LED strip and controller. Um, so they go together like that and then this is the tower that goes in top as you can see slots in top there, slots in the top and um, that's how that goes and then you run your LED stri strip up here and back down the other side um, and that's how you can get we can get light all the way over the top of it and down the back, back of the other side, which is something that you don't see in the Corsair one, which I thought would be a nice little improvement for it and make it a little bit better. But obviously, as I said, during the design process, it's not anywhere near as tall as the Corsair one, um, but it's thick enough to hold some headphones, which is good, um, rather than putting an extra hook on. And then I went on and did the light diffuser. Um, really rough. This was out of some really cheap PLA that just didn't work very well. Uh, so I've stopped using that now, but I just printed the prototype with this. So as you can probably tell, this just slots over the top of here, slots over like that, and then you've got a full tower with a diffuser built into it, and the light can shine through here. Uh, this is way too thick, not done in Vars mode like I did with the other one, um, but it still shines the light through really well. Uh, and then the LED strip is one that I got from AliExpress actually, so with this and the controller, came to about £3, if that. Uh, something like that anyway and this is a 50 centimeter and you can get them bigger than that if you want to do if you wanted to do a bigger one you could do that or you could do a full length one with just one side illuminated like that um, so like I say this goes over the top of the tower back down the other side and out the bottom and then connects it into your controller 
with this connection here. So now let me show you the finished version. Right, so there we have it, the finished product. As you can see, it holds a set of chunky headphones pretty well. Uh, these are the Logitech Spectrum, whatever they're called, 633 or something like that. Um, really happy with these headphones. Um, as you can see, it holds it really well. And from the video, you can see it lights up quite well. The camera doesn't really do it justice. It looks a lot better in um, in real life. It actually, the colors pop a little bit better. Um, and as you can see, like I say, it does everything that it says on the tin. Um, so let's talk about uh, obviously the Corsair one. Obviously the Corsair one is going to be much better quality. It's going to be better quality plastics. It's going to be made differently. Um, probably a better RGB controller. Obviously the, the Corsair one you can connect to your computer and you can control it via the IQ software, which with this you can't. Maybe there is a, a controller out there that allows you to do something like that. I don't know, but um, I couldn't find one. So I just went for these cheap LEDs, which are actually really good for the price. Um, and like I say, you can do them in different lengths if you want to do different things with them. Um, other than that, not as tall as the Corsair one, which I explained before. Um, I just didn't want it to be really weak, but I may still do one like that, and I'll do another video just to so show you how how tall you can make it and how good it looks when it is that tall and whether it is really weak in parts where the parts uh, are joined. Obviously, if you've got a, print, a 3D printer that can do much taller objects, which I don't think is one that does anything that tall out there, then you could use that and do one in one whole piece. Um, now it does take a long time to print this. Uh, I think in total with everything is probably over 10 hours uh, of printing, which is quite a lot of time really. Um, but when you come out with something that looks pretty good like this, which I'm really pleased with, um, and an absolute fraction of the price, um, I can't. I don't think you can complain really. Um, the PLA will need a bit of a sanding down. Maybe you'd best you'd be best to sand it down and then paint it. So you could then use any color really you've got lying around uh, in terms of PLA. You don't have to have black. Um, you will need white for the for the front. Obviously, you can do many color, the the base and everything any color you want. Um, so yeah, that's that's the light tower that I've designed myself. So I hope you guys like it. And um, like I say at the start, I mentioned um, if you have any other ideas for RGB products that I could make uh, on a 3D printer, then please uh, give me a shout. I have got a few ideas in the pipeline that I'm going to do. Um, I'm also going to do a video soon on the best PC parts or PC accessories to print for your PC um, using a 3D printer. So uh, make sure you get subscribed and click that bell icon to see that. Uh, and other than that, guys, um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, uh, give it a thumbs down or double click it. Um, and leave any comments you have in the comment section below. Like I say, I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on other products that could be made or how I could improve this or any ideas that you have. Or if you want to, if you're good at 3D designing, send me your files and I'll have a look at printing them for you. Not a problem whatsoever, and we can uh, we can do some sort of challenges maybe. Um, so yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, I hope you see me in the next video, and I'll see you soon. Cheers, guys.